So this is part two. I still can't believe this nigga apologized. I still can't believe this nigga apologized. When I recorded my last video, bro, it was like damn near three o'clock in the morning, four o'clock in the morning. I went to sleep. I wake up. This dude was trending. I'm like, why is J. Cole trending? You know, I know he got his little dream fest and whatever, whatever. And then I see him apologizing, bro. I literally almost lost it. I almost broke my whole fucking setup. J. Cole, I can't believe this nigga apologized for what? For what? And then you know what's worse? It's not even J. Cole apologizing, which is the worst part. His fucking pussy ass fans are the worst. Oh, you're trying to get black people to shed blood. Or oh, you're trying to get black people to go against each other. Or oh, you're trying to get black people to, 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 to start an uproar for the white. What the fuck are you talking about? It's not about. I don't see nothing violent happening between J. Cole and Kendrick. These guys have been running the game since 2010 all the way till now, present time, 2024. It's been Drake, it's been J. Cole, and it's been Kendrick Lamar. I don't give a fuck what you rank them, but it's always been Drake, Kendrick, Cole. Whether it's Drake, Kendrick, Cole, Kendrick, Drake, Cole, or Cole, Kendrick, Drake, no matter how you put it, these are the Mount Rushmore of goats from 2010 all the way till now you cannot split the crown in half and j cole was like yo this didn't sit right with my spirit yo my spirit was fucked up was your spirit fucked up when you did slow pump on your kod album you wasn't thinking about your spirit then was your spirit fucked up when you dissed kanye west on false prophets type in j cole false prophets where he dissed kanye west was your spirit fucked up then? This nigga has been saying that I feel like Muhammad Ali. Don't ever compare yourself to Muhammad Ali ever in your life again. You see Muhammad Ali, he was defeated, but he still fought. I'm just thinking about the beef. Not, not even a beef. I don't even want to call it beef because this is not beef. Y'all keep making it seem like this is beef. This is not beef. This is the top, top heavyweights in the game that's just, they're just going back and forth for competition. Oh, you think you're the best? Nah, I don't think you're the best. I think I'm the best. All right. Oh, you think you're the best? Well, I'm going to prove to you that you're not the best. You ever play basketball with your friends at Open Gym and when y'all on the same team, y'all be shitting? Pause, no ditty. Y'all be kicking asses. Y'all be spanking niggas. Pause, no ditty. And then when, when y'all make the teams, you and your friend, y'all not on the same team, so y'all got to go against each other. You got respect for your friend. You got love for your friend, but he's on the opposite team. You trying to destroy that nigga. Pause, no ditty. That's what this is. Kobe and LeBron. LeBron and Kobe. Yeah, I got respect for LeBron. Yeah, I got respect for Kobe, but I'm going to go at him. Oh, he trying to drive on me? I'm going to block his shot. Oh, where he blocked my shot? All right, bet. Let me get him in the post. It's competition. Imagine Kobe Bryant saying, you know what, Michael Jordan? You're better than me. Fuck out of here. Imagine Michael Jordan saying Kobe like, yo, man, yo, I know I'm on the Wizards right now, but yo, you you might be better than me. Michael Jordan would have said, nigga, I got my fucking kick. I got my shoes in the car right now. Let's get busy, nigga, if you really want to get at it. It's about the competition. It's about the sport. And this nigga been saying, yo, I, no nigga, nobody could touch my pen. Nobody could fuck with me. He even said it on his last album. Yo, nigga, on that song with Cameron, he said, nobody could fuck with me. I promise I'm the best when it come to this shit. But you got this five foot six midget who can barely jump up and reach the cereal on top of the fucking counter. This nigga has been spanking your ass. Just taking you over. This nigga fucking, you know what, you know what, I should, you know what, maybe it's me. Maybe it's me. Maybe it's me. I should have known. 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 Give me one second. Come on, load up, load up, load up, load up. Come on, baby, load up. 
I should have known. I can't even spell that man's name right. Hold on. Kendrick. I should have known. Where he at? Ooh, okay. Yo, what up? This is Black and you're watching All Urban Central. Get the fuck off my screen. Let me lower the volume. Right here. This nigga is doing prison workouts. I should have known that these niggas wasn't ready for Kendrick Lamar. This nigga was doing fucking jail workouts. With a fitted on. With shades on. With a black tee. He not playing with you niggas. This nigga ready for war and y'all niggas sitting here fucking apologizing. This shit is damn near pathetic. Anyway, I just had to get this. Like, I, I really couldn't really. Like, it took a while for me to get my thoughts together because I'm really like, did this nigga really fucking apologize to Kendrick Lamar? You're apologizing for a beef you didn't even start. That's number one. And you're apologizing at your own festival. Drake would never, bro. I swear Drake would never. 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 He would fuck. I don't care what y'all say about Drake. Drake would never apologize. He would never apologize to Meek. He would never apologize to Pusha T. If it was an OVO fest, I don't see Drake apologizing to his ops at all. J. Cole, you are the first nigga. Oh, I had to fart. You are the fo you you are the first nigga in hip hop history to apologize to your ops. Ah, uh, let me get that out. You are the first person to apologize to your ops. This shit is sick, bro. This shit is Pimple Butterfly, my favorite Kendrick Lamar album. That album is Blackity. Get the fuck out of here. Good Kid, Mad City is the best album Kendrick, Kendrick ever dropped. But go ahead. You're already saying some bullshit. Black, Black. If you ask me, Kendrick re-ushered in a black renaissance in music with that album. But that's a discussion for another day. Damn, is a great project. I don't know if I have it as classic status. But Cole, you said that's his prime. You said that was his peak. So if that's the case, then you think that's his best body of work. So that's three classic albums we discussing. And then Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers. I told y'all much. That's not my favorite project. Mr. Morale and the Big step is not my favorite project but i digress to go in the future we are going to look at that in uh jay-z's 444 as two of the most important hip-hop albums of all time and you know when that's going to come when you unhealed heathens get some healing when you men grow up and that's what we are here to talk about today the rap fan in me understands the disappointment many of you feel in cold but the man in me who understands that i'm a spiritual being living a human existence has nothing but respect for what j cole did see so many of us lead with pride and ego nowadays and we let these idiots on social Bro, media what are you talking about yo go play with your yo charlemagne do me a favor go to hell and stay there do me a favor just go to hell turn your mic off go to hell and stay. see this is why you need a nigga like dj academics in the game what are you talking about all the fucking spiritual the crystal rocks the fucking manifestation go the fuck over there with that bullshit this is fucking hip-hop this is where the best of the best come together and they compete what are you talking about? Just Friday, y'all niggas was just gassing Kendrick's verse, and now when J. Cole respond, this nigga has to apologize for responding? Charlamagne, do me a favor. Go to hell and stay there. Just go to hell and get lost and don't come back. <laughs> it's done. Finish. Finito. It's over, bro. I just finished watching a video with J. Cole apologizing to Kendrick Lamar for dissing him. Now, before I get into what I got to say, I got to let it be known that I have the utmost respect for J. Cole. And I'm talking all caps, utmost. Ever since he bodied my favorite rapper on A Star Is Born, not only did he earn my respect, he earned my fandom. And I fuck with, yo, bro, I remember when Forest Hills Drive came out, this nigga went at Eminem. Unapologetically. 
but you apologizing to Kendrick Lamar for what? You're apologizing for what? What are you apologizing for? It didn't sit right with my you see this is what this is what this is this is my problem. This is my fucking problem, and I always say this when I'm having a conversation about hip hop. You niggas is Ben Simmons, but y'all you niggas think that y'all got that mamba mentality, but in reality, you niggas is Ben Simmons. Y'all niggas is scared to shoot, terrified to shoot. It's too many niggas that think that, they, that everybody think they got that mamba mentality until it's time to actually activate the mamba mentality. You're Ben Simmons with a microphone. Weak. We're not telling y'all to beef. You didn't say nothing about his baby moms. He didn't say nothing about your baby moms. He didn't say nothing about your mom. You didn't say nothing about his kids. No, this is just all Kendrick Lamar said. Motherfuck the big three. Nigga, it's just big me. That's it. And, and, and you got the cold sweats? You would have thought this nigga was a fucking... Uh, 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 let me not say that. Do you need to call the the, the 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 suicide hotline for competing? I guess, I guess, I guess, I I, I guess. He's been sim like no, bro. Like this nigga should have went back to Africa, bro. I'm I'm so fucking mad. Where did this go back to Africa? Go back to your heart's not in it. I get it. Your heart's not in it. Go back to Africa and play basketball. Go live out your hoop dreams in Africa, or go to the Shanghai Sharks, or go to the fucking Mad Ants. I get it. This 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 hip hop shit. It ain't for you. It ain't for you. Everybody can't be the best. I get it. But stop talking like you the best if you're not gonna prove it and you're not gonna stand on it. This nigga compared himself on first on first person shooter. This nigga compared himself to Muhammad Ali. I kid you not. It's not me. It's you. <sighs> Fucking sickening, bro. Ben Simmons ass niggas, bro. Now what I need Cole to understand is that I can <laughs> fully process why he felt the need to apologize based on what he said on that stage. You feel me? You put something on social media, the fans take it, and they're going to say whatever they want to say. Some people are going to make it extra, whatever the case may be. But that's social media in a nutshell. But what I also need Cole to understand, bro, is that the fans who actually follow your music and Kendrick Lamar's music clearly knew this was friendly competition. Thank you. Somebody with a fucking brain. Thank you. You would have thought, like, these niggas ain't the Bloods and the Crips. This ain't Pac and Biggie. It's Kendrick Lamar and fucking J. Cole. This nigga J. Cole be riding his fucking bike around Manhattan. Kendrick Lamar is telling you he not a gangster. Good kid, Mad City. I'm, I, I'm a good kid, but I grew up in a fucked up situation. I never had to get busy, but I'm still a good kid. These niggas, this, this was never going to get violent. Ever. This was never going to get violent. Period. Just two heavyweights that's nasty with the pen. Okay, you think you nasty? All right, well, I think I'm nasty. Let me show you that I'm better than you. Oh, you think you better than me? You got to prove it. It's competition. Like, am I, like, is, is the game this soft? Is the game this soft? What happened to the game I love? Clearly knew this was a sparring match. Clearly knew that you and Kendrick are both cool. So the people that you trying to appease ain't even your target audience, bro. The people who walk around calling Kendrick trash and mid are the same ones who think you are boring. That's not your target audience. These are the people who listen to Lil Yachty, Yeet, and Playboy Cardi. Or they listen to a whole bunch of drill and, and drug dealing rap. They not listening to you conceptual rappers. You are mid to them. But to the hip-hop fans that follow both you and Kendrick, like I said before... We just wanted to watch two heavyweights just exercise their pen, exchange some bars, and just have friendly conversation. That's all the fuck it was. I promise you that's all the fuck it was. Had I known that nigga would have apologized, I would have sent that nigga this. Had I known that nigga would have apologized, I would have I would have shipped that nigga back to Zimbabwe and told him to stay there. We just wanted you we just wanted some friendly competition. That's all we wanted. We're not telling you to slap the nigga. We're not telling you to put him in a fucking crippler's crossface. We're not telling you to put J. Cole. We're not telling Kendrick to put J. Cole in the fucking walls of Jericho. We know they cool. We know they fuck with each other. 
it's really Drake and Kendrick that don't fuck with each other. Cole just caught it stray, but it's just it's comp. Oh, you think you Muhammad Ali? Nah, nigga, I think I'm Muhammad Ali. It's competition, bro. <laughs> like that nigga's gotta stop. And then if I was at that Dreamville Fest, I would have picked up the, I would have bought tomatoes and I would have launched it at his ass. The fuck out of here. Competition. You feel me? In relation to sports, we wanted to see two top athletes go against each other and just see how it will play out. And of course, people gonna pick their sides because we are fans of certain people. We like Cole more than Kendrick. We like Kendrick more than Cole. It ain't no different from when Kobe and Braun played against each other. Thank you, perfect analogy. Ain't nobody legacy decreasing. We just wanna see them score on each other and defend each other. We wanna see two heavyweights go at it and see what type of entertainment they can give us as fans. So I'm trying to figure out how this got so deep. Like, Cole, as much as I love Seven Minute Drill, I didn't have that joint on repeat ever since it dropped. You acting like you dropped Ether. You acting like you dropped Hit Him Up. You act like you dropped No Vaseline. You ain't diss Kendrick Lamar's family. You ain't diss his baby mom. Thank you. I'm glad he said that in his fucking video. Just, just, for real. But he not battle tested. He weak. He Ben Simmons. Hey, where he Ben Simmons? You ain't diss his character. You ain't call him out his name. You ain't call him no bitch or fraud. None of that. So how is it this deep to where you apologizing for a beef you didn't even start? Huh? <laughs> a beef you didn't even start is insane. So all I'm saying, bro, is it was never that deep. It was never that deep. We knew what it was from the start. There was people on Twitter that literally said it didn't even sound like you wanted to diss Kendrick. And somehow we got here? I told you, bro. He's Ben Simmons with a microphone. When he drops the fall off, don't say that I'm the best. Nobody could touch my pen. Don't don't, don't ever say that. When you drop the fall, I don't know what you're going to rap about. Because y your last album, I might delete this. And the albums before and all your features, you've been saying that, yo, I want somebody to test me. I I'm the best. I'm the best. I'm the best. I'm the best. Once you get challenged, you on stage apologizing. Get the fuck out of here with this bullshit, bro. This, this nigga just <sighs> sick to my fucking stomach, fam. From here on now, fuck a big three. I don't want to hear y'all talk about Jake. No, 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 no. Let that nigga go ride his fucking bicycle. <laughs> you know oh, shit. If you, I, I'm, I'm going to ask y'all this. If y'all was to take J. Cole out y'all big three or out of y'all top three, who would y'all put in to replace him? I'll put Future. Around the 2010s, it used to be see, it used to be a top five around 2010, but them niggas just fell off. Them niggas was doing some other shit. It used to in, tw in 2010, it used to be Drake, it used to be Kendrick, it used to be Cole, it used to be Sh Big Sean, it used to be Wale, and I'll even throw Meek Mill because around that 2010 mark, Meek Mill was in his bag. But it used to be Big Sean and Wale. Big Sean, he skeeted, he skeeted in Janae Eco, and he's he, he he's on some other shit. So we don't even. All right, he he started a family. That's cool. Congratulations. I'm glad. But we 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 got him out of there. Wale, he just he was he, Wale got some Wale got some shit. Wale got some shit. But it's like, eh, all right, all right, cool. Meek, that nigga just, it, Drake ended that nigga's career going out of there. So it was just three left. Drake, Kendrick, and Cole. And now that this nigga did this shit, Cole is out of my top. He's not. So, <laughs> nigga, you're gone. Fuck out of here. No, you know, you know what I'm mad at? It's the fucking fans. This bitch nigga never wanted to be the best. Y'all try to convince him that he had the talent to be the best. He does have, I'm not going to say that. He does have the talent to be the best. But when he sticks his chest out, when real killers is in the room, he puts his chest right back the fuck. He, yo, you know who J. Cole is? Jake, I don't know if y'all ever watched Top Boy. J. Cole is Jamie from Top, J. Cole is Jamie from Top Boy. 
around his crew, he tough, he talk that hot shit, but as soon as he get around Sully and Deshay, quiet as a fucking mouse. He not fucking build. This nigga is Ben Simmons with a fucking microphone. I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. He is Ben Simmons with a microphone. Bitch nigga was riding tricycles in Tribeca. He was being the 12th man in Ghana playing basketball. I didn't even know how to play basketball in Ghana. <laughs> convinced his fuck nigga when he big told you he had no passion for this shit he ain't got no passion for this shit you convinced this light-skinned nigga with no passion to come back and rap like he the best but he not about it soft this baby shit from here on now fuck a big thing i don't want to hear y'all talk about jake no 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 it's nasty work it's nasty work it's nasty work. I, I couldn't fucking believe it. I had to look and see if that video was fucking AI. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, I fucking can't with this niggas. What the fuck did he about my girl? You didn't you did. Imagine if I get slapped in my face and I punch a nigga and I knock him the fuck out. And I'm like, yo, my bad. Yo, I ain't even mean to knock you out. My bad. What am I apologizing for when I got slapped? What the f I can't believe this nigga. What the fuck? This the white side coming out. Cause ain't J. Cole he J. Cole is mixed, right? This the white side coming out. The world, we just wanted you to respond to what he said. That's all, bro. You making it seem like we wanted you to go into the fucking TDE studio and light everybody the fuck up. You making it seem like we wanted you to go to Kendrick Lamar's house with a bomb strapped to your chest and you and you detonated. We just wanted you. We just wanted you to compete. That's all. He said, fuck the big three. Nigga, it's just big me. We just wanted to see your response to that. That's all, bro. That's it. I promise you it's nothing more than that. I don't know if y'all can feel that, but the world want to see blood. So I say all of that to say, in my spirit of trying to, like, get this music out, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I moved in a way that was, that I feel spiritually feel bad on me. Like, like I try to, like, jab my nigga back. And I try to keep it friendly, but at the end of the day, when I listen to it and when it comes out and I see the talk, that shit don't sit right with my spirit. That shit you think he feel the same way about that? I mean, look, excuse me. You think he feel the same way about you when he dropped that verse on uh, Metro Boomin's album? And speak, we're going to talk about Metro Boomin later. You think he feel the same way? Do you think Kendrick Lamar feel the same way? That nigga ain't apologized yet. He still stood on what he said. He said, fuck the big three, nigga. It's just big me. You think that nigga is going on fucking... F this nigga is so fucking soft, bro. It's not even fucking funny how soft this nigga is. Do you think this nigga Kendrick Lamar, when he goes on... St when he drops his album and he goes on stage, do you think this nigga Kendrick Lamar is going to apologize for saying... Yo, J. Cole, my bad... You know what? I know I hurt your feelings when I said that. It's, it, fuck the big three. It's just big me. My bad. I'm sorry. You think Kendrick Lamar is going to apologize? He's not. What the fuck are you apologizing for? For a beef you didn't even stop. I'm tired of these light-skinned niggas. Thank God I'm dark-skinned. I haven't felt this way since Kevin Durant joined the Warriors. I, 
I, I'm gonna just be 100 percent honest. This is the same feeling that I'm getting when KD joined the uh, Warriors after getting a, after getting his ass whooped. Pause, no Diddy. This is sickening. And then after that, he plays Love Yours off of Forest Hills Drive. And then I even heard that this nigga was going to take the diss track that he made off of DSPs, off of Spotify, off of every single platform. J. Cole, you are as soft as fucking baby shit. Get this soft nigga off my fucking screen. So just, just baby shit. Charm, just charm it soft. Now, back to Metro. Is this his official? Yeah, this is... I'm surprised he's not verified. But the reason why I brought up Metro Boomin is because he's going to drop... I don't know if this is a deluxe or if this is going to... Like, he's going to drop like a deluxe. And he have a, he has a deluxe that's dropping Friday. If Kendrick Lamar disses you again after you apologize on stage, get the fuck out the paint. Get out the paint, period. You're done. You're done. He's got a deluxe that's dropping Friday. I don't know if we're going. I don't know what. I don't know what. I don't know if Kendrick is on this one too. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But if I'm Kendrick Lamar, I diss that. I mean, he's soft. I diss that nigga again just for shits and giggles. Soft ass nigga. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe. I, uh, this is just fucking disgusting. But this is, this, I'm out. S -s -s Baby, sh just Ben Simmons ass nigga, yo.